What's up, my beautiful nieces and nephews, divine feminine and divine masculine? Welcome back. Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmicky ass clowns. Now, you guys is wondering where Oscar is. Oscar got caught in the fucking rain. Trying to throw that motherfucking karmic into the karmic tent. So, Oscar will be back later on the day. He got to dry off. <laughs> okay, now, if this your first time to my channel, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, we talk about karmic energies that comes in between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Now, you may not know that you're a divine masculine or you may be unaware or a divine feminine. You may be just a feminine energy or a masculine energy. But these, my reads mostly talk about the karmic energies that comes in between you and your relationship. Now, this could be your twin flame, your karmic soulmate, your soulmate, your divine soulmate, a karmic soulmate you have to you know take what resonates where it fits in your story so um i might as well say my little slogan please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you it may or may not resonate with your energy so only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else if it don't fit don't force it just relax and let the shit go meaning if this ain't your story, don't be in there, you know, in the comments talking about, I know this not me, and you know, um, if it's not you, it's, you don't have to say that, but I do appreciate the comments, even the little negative ones, I have to block them. So, I'm going to jump straight off into this reading, and this reading is all about somebody's divine masculine, don't see a future with this karmic. Because, see, now this masculine and this karmic is mad at each other. He's mad at himself for choosing them over you. He's mad at himself for being, you know, stuck on the lie that this karmic told on you. And now, you know, they want to open up to you, but this masculine is scared. Okay? They scared and they fired up. See, it's like they want to come towards you. They fired up and ready to approach you. High action, but they scared. Okay? They want to, they, you know, they want to let you know that they released this karmic. They want to let you know that they don't see a future with this karmic. Because him and his karmic is mad. And he's mad at the fact that she told a lie on you. Now if he was stuck on a lie that this karmic told him on you. This is why he started acting funny towards you. Some of you may be seeing the um, angel number 1111. 111. When you see this number if you pick up your phone. It could be on, you know, a license plate. You can find it on a receipt. You can see it on a clock. When you see 1111, that's a message from your spirit guides and your ancestors. So just remember, if you're thinking something negative about your person and this person, you're manifesting them. That to happen. Even the negative, don't do that. So when you see these angel numbers, 111, 222, 333, 4444, 5555, that's your spirit guides letting you know that they are around you. And for some of you, what you need to do, say for instance, you pick up your phone and your phone says 1111, 111, um, 222 on the clock. Any number is synchronized all the way up to 12 right if you see these numbers on your phone 
take your phone, take a picture in front of you, take a picture behind you, take a picture on the left of you, and take a picture on the right of you, okay? And when you get somewhere and settle down, where you're off to yourself, you go back and you look at those pictures, all four of them, okay? Because there's there could be a message in them for you. You may see in that picture, you may see you took a picture of a red light or a stop sign or something. Whatever it was you was thinking about when that number came up, what were you thinking about? Was it a person? Was it something with a job? Um, was it something about something negative? What was it? So when you're asking yourself that, you you may find the answer in that in the four pictures that you take from the north south east and west okay ancestors could be it could be a message in the background you may see two birds in the picture that you take them two birds could represent you and your person and if you're wondering if there's a third party you take that picture you may find two birds and that's letting you know that either it's it's um the the two birds can represent you and your person and that can mean that if there's no other bird there that that third bird is out of the picture now if you take a picture and you see three birds that can represent that it's a third party somewhere in the picture you guys feel me if you see a stop sign in those pictures spirit could be telling you to stop something stop calling somebody stop doing something if you see a green light it could be telling you to go okay you look at you when you look back at those pictures you listen to your intuition and you zoom in on them pictures okay you zoom in on them and, and, and look at them like you looking for the, the the hidden search thing trying to get a message out of them pictures okay I don't know who needed to hear that but when you see in the them angel numbers you start paying attention you may get in your car and your, your clock on your car saying um, 333 then you go look up what 333 means, okay? Angel number 333. You go. I'll tell you to go to Mix Diva. She's going to tell you all the positive things about the angel numbers. So go to Minx Diva, M-I-N-X Diva, here on YouTube, okay? And these angel numbers, if you're seeing 1111, they could be telling you. You could be in a positive energy when you're seeing these angel numbers. And this means that you're you're attracting good high vibrational energy towards yourself and you're putting it out okay and whoever your your divine masculine is if you're attracting positive energies in your life this karmic must have told him that you're negative or something okay third party Okay, Holy Spirit, I'm asking for divine protection as I channel this message. Either you, your person, um, or this karmic is being haunted. Not you. You're not being haunted. They're being haunted, haunted because they, they're, they scared. They don't know what to say to you. Because this karmic has lied to them um, about you. This karmic could have told your person that you're low vibration. See, they can try to switch up what a low vibrational energy is. They'll take out everything that, you know, that's low vibrational about them. They'll try to make this masculine focus more on your low vibrational side, but they can't find it. Oh, uh, if anything, uh, your low vibrational side is most likely divine feminine. Is you getting on this masculine's ass about this karmic? Okay. He's scared to come towards you and he wanted to tell you that he released this karmic. These masculines are releasing these karmic energies because now, you know, you divine feminines, you've been you've been speaking truth to them. And see these karmic energies, they get mad and they'll they'll talk, they'll say negative shit against you because they want this masculines to be still in a, a low vibrational energy with them. And see these karmic energies are sent into the life of your masculines to distract them from you because once you two unite you will be a power couple okay 
So these energies come to break that up. They were sent by the devil. Cut off from abundance until they tell the truth. Yeah, this is why they have to come to you. They have to. Because whatever they did to you, if they cut you off for, for, for this karmic energy, they're being cut off from their abundance. Until they come tell you the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth when it comes to this karmic energy. And the truth about everything. They not gonna have they're not gonna have no abundance. We have mental health improving. Some of you this person could have, you know, been messing with your mental. It could have messed with your mental when they chose this karmic energy over you, having you feel like, you know, why did they choose this person and this and that. We're going to stop worrying about why they chose this person. We don't give a fuck why they chose these people over us. Do you really care? Yeah, it hurt, but fuck it. All you're doing is, is, is when you're trying to figure out what they're doing, you really need to be, we need to be focused. I'm focused now on what I'm doing. And that's sitting right here giving you the guys, giving you guys this message. So what is your purpose? What are you supposed to be doing? Are you a healer? Are you a motivational speaker? Do you read cards? Are you supposed to be giving messages? Do you play an instrument? Are you an artist? You know, your paintings, the people to see your paintings may heal somebody. You may have a beautiful voice that's healing. But don't take that shit to the industry. Okay? Don't take it to the industry. That's selling your soul. Gotta turn my fan on. I'm having a hot flash. So this person, they could be possibly having mental health issues for choosing a karmic over you. Okay. They could be like really fucked up. And they want, but and they're scared, fired up, and mad. So this person is having a, a bunch of different emotions going on right now, but they want to come towards you. Now, I'm not telling you all of this, Divine Feminine, to, you know, um, take your masculine back. No, I'm just telling you these are the energies that comes in between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Okay? Now, I don't know if they you, you consider them your twin flame, but these the energies I'm talking about that actually comes in, breaks up marriages, breaks up families, you know, um, just do the most. These karmic energies will call your person. They meet your person. They scope out the married masculines, okay? They scope out, out them the most because if if a divine masculine has, has settled and gotten married to his divine feminine, the devil is going to send somebody in to try to break, to break that up. Like I said, because you, you are supposed to be a power couple, okay? If both you and your masculine have a gift, you're gifted, which you do. You have a purpose here. And you two together means big business, big opportunities, you know, helping people and healing and all of that. These karmic energies are low vibrational and they come in. And see somebody with the signs in reverse, you could have been seeing the signs from these angel numbers and you didn't know what they was. My, my, the end of my phone number <laughs> is an angel number. And it's, it's, it's so weird now you know when i when i you know have to get my phone number out of something you know i'm like yeah that's my angel number so you look at that 11 11 1 1 1 2 2 2 44 44 33 33 3 3 3 those are messages just look them up and what it means okay and some of you your divine masculine he didn't he didn't pay attention to the signs either okay 
he don't see a future with this this karmic energy. He released them. But see, when he released you, he released you because of some lie that this karmic told him. And see, just like she lied to him, they both was lying on you. Both of them. She lied on you, and this masculine lied on you. <laughs> and both of them is getting the karma for lying on you. Now, see, they're, they're getting some sort of karma right now, right? And this is all because they lied on you. He lied to her about you and the relationship made it seem like it was your fault. The relationship was over and why he came to her in the first place or why he accepted her coming to him. He lied on you. He didn't like the low vibrational. He didn't like that you were not low vibrational. That's why he went to her. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. See, this masculine also didn't pay attention to the signs. When he lied to, to her about you, he opened the door up to her for her to, op to start lying on you. Now he can't sleep at night because he's thinking about you. He's thinking about the lies he told on you. He's thinking about the lies she told on you. This is his karma. That he created himself because he spoke some shit out to the universe. And possibly whatever he spoke out about you saying that you did to him when he was lying, she did it to him. But she's a karmic, so she really went out and did whatever the fuck he lied and said you did. That's his karma. Mm -hmm. trying to see which deck should I pull to find out why they're mad at each other. So Holy Spirit, can you show me why this divine masculine and this karmic are mad at each other? This masculine is mad himself and they released him through he apparently he's using his intuition now. And he released this karmic because he realized that when he got with her, bad shit has been happening to him. It's, he feels like he's having a streak of bad luck. But see, why he's having this streak of bad luck, this karmic was lying and telling him, you know, the reason he's having bad luck is because it's something that you was doing to him, Divine Feminine. But in reality, it was either he getting bad luck because he done laid down with her and she carries a toxic energy and he's receiving a bad luck from sleeping with her or from her lies. Mm -hmm. Now he's sad with grief and adversity. Yep. So this, this, this karmic energy brought this divine masculine grief and adversity. Whatever lies she told him, he could have married her. This came out in reverse. He could have married her. For some of you, you could be married to him and, and, and he could have ended the relationship with you. He could have ended the marriage with you because of some lies that she told him. And now he's in grief and adversity. Okay. Now, for some of you, it could mean also he could be sad right now and in grief because you ended the marriage with him. Because he listened to the lies that she was telling him and he started acting weird towards you and you end up leaving. So he could be sad. Some of you may not have divorced this person. Yeah, uh-oh. The scythe came out. A sharp ending. No coming back from. 
something that can't be undone. And he's sad about this. I guess he needs to be crying, huh, ladies? So this is if if this if this masculine if you were married to him and he ended the marriage with you because he was stuck on the lie that this karmic told you told told him on you whatever he did he said some sharp harsh shit He said something harsh. He said something and slammed the door and walked out the door behind the lie that this karmic told him. Now this ain't for everybody, but it's for somebody. Ooh. And he didn't apologize. This is why he's he's fired up to come towards you. He probably ended some shit with you behind the lie that she told him. Yeah. He he probably gonna tell you that she got she got a, a mental problem too. Yeah, he's getting karma. He said some harsh shit. He, this was his choice. He chose to do this. He chose to come at you like this. For some of you, this masculine could have, could, this could be a baby mama. An ex-baby mama. Ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. Side piece. But it's looking like this is somebody to do with his, his kid's mom. He could have two kids with her. Or you could be the, the baby mama. You could be having victory and success. Harmony. You're having good luck. Some that, somebody's name may be Lily. Somebody may call themselves Bear. So he's crying because if he walked away from you, you're happy and successful. If he ended some shit with you, if he ended the marriage, the relationship, and he didn't apologize, tell him shut the fuck up. child yeah so for some of you he could have a child with this karmic or he could act like a little child he could be immature or he could have tried to treat you like a child some of you could have a child 18 with this masculine somebody is sick Depressed and confused because they chose a, a, a karmic partner, another karmic over you. Lied and he listened to their lies. Now he can't sleep because he's thinking about you. He cut off his abundance. His abundance is cut off until he tell you the truth. And him and his karmic is mad at each other, but he don't see a future with them, whoever this child's mama is. 
and he wants to come towards you, but he's scared. He's fired up to come towards you, but he's scared. Okay. So, if this reading resonated with you, then go on ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.